tech all morning here. The big question now is with 5G Yeah, service. there's a whole lot to talk about it across the country. Keep hearing about 5G, but what does it all mean? <laughs> <laughs> there's some confusion and thankfully Carlos is here to clear it up. I saw you studying for hours at a time no, yesterday, Carlos. You know me, I'm a tech nerd. <laughs> I right? know you are. I'm a tech nerd. Yeah, you even embrace I, it. Yeah, e but even I was like, okay, wait, 5G for your home versus the new 5G wireless yeah. service. Okay, let me set it straight for All you right. right now, okay? The 5G wireless internet that you have, that many of you have in your house right now, is not the same as the new 5G cell phone service that is coming soon. The 5G for wireless technology in your house uh, refers to the frequency it uses 5 gigahertz. For cellular data, 5G means fifth generation. For wireless in your house, it means 5 gigahertz. Two completely separate things. All right, you got that? Okay, good. So 5G stands for five, fifth generation. Let's talk about fifth generation. Right now, the answer, do you need it, is no. Sure, the speed of 5G wireless uh, signals, nearly f three times faster than the 4G signal you have right now. Downloading a movie or a game to your mobile device, though, is only slightly faster, as you can see right here. And get this, if you want to take advantage of a 5G signal on your phone, you're going to need to buy a new 5G smartphone or tablet. And Verizon says it's going to charge you more every month for 5G service. And get this, in Chicago, where they're testing 5G, people are having problems getting that 5G signal. A stop sign can block the signal. If you're between a stop sign and the small cell tower that they'll be installing in your neighborhood for this, it can block the signal. So it's very difficult to pick up 5G. They're having to install these, what they're called, small cell sites. We actually have one installed in our neighborhood where they just put a thing on a light pole. It's essentially kind of a repeater. And uh, so they're having to put hundreds or thousands of towers all over the place in order for you to get your 5G. And it's still kind of problematic. So you just asked the question, do we have 5G in yeah. No. We do not have 5G <laughs> wireless. They have it in Chicago and Minneapolis right now. Okay. That's it, okay? <laughs> We're getting it soon, okay? Yeah. But you might want to hold off on that. So to recap the mobile do's and don'ts we have, uh, hold off on jumping into the 5G immediately. Hold off on spending $2,000 for that new foldable smartphone, which comes out in two weeks. But do spend the money on top quality chargers for your smartphones and your computers so they don't fry your devices. That's some good advice. There right? we go. I'm trying, yeah, so we're trying to get it all in there. You know? Basically, I don't need to buy anything right no, now just except for something like yeah, this, but yeah, the real the version. Chargers are the best thing to buy right now. <laughs> Everything else, hold off. Let someone else be the guinea pig. Uh, yeah. It's like when I bought that 4K TV, and, and I, I got it and uh -huh. got it set up, and I was like, well, there's nothing really in 4K. <laughs> exactly. Watch. And then and a year later, it was half the price. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I'm the dumb one. Yeah, sure. <laughs> you did get taken there. Well, hey, thanks, Carlos. Sorry. You were going to say you're the dumb one. <laughs> no, I didn't. It's okay. Hey, Just listen, I, is the dumb I one. I bought a phone charger around the Coliseum in Rome mm -hmm. from a vendor selling it. So I probably ought okay. to pitch it, I think. Uh, <laughs> right? Yeah, Ten bucks. Fire hazard. Yes, it is. <laughs> All right.